Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. Today we will be looking at a very interesting graph problem. We are given an undirected graph with no cycles, where each node represents a city. There are n cities and n minus 1 roads. We are also given that the capital city is node 0. There is a meeting happening in the capital city and from each city people have to go to the capital city 0 using cars. We are given the maximum number of people that can sit in a car. And the cost of travelling between two cities is one litre of fuel. And we have to return the minimum litre of fuels that will be consumed. Let's look at this example. The number of seats in the car is 2. The capital city is 0 and people from each city will have to travel to 0. From city 5, one person will travel to city 0 using one car and consuming one liter of fuel. From city 6, one person will travel to city 4 consuming one liter of fuel. And from there, 4 and 6 would pull their car and go to city 0. Hence in total, it would take 2 liters. From city 2, one person would go to city 3 consuming one liter of fuel. And from city 3, two people will pull their car and go to city 1 using one car. At city 1, there will be three people, person 3, person 2 and person 1. They cannot fit in a single car as the number of seats in a car is 2. Hence, they will need two cars to go to city 0. In one car, there will be only one people and in the other car, there will be two people. This would consume 2 liters of fuel. Adding all of these, 7 liters of fuel will be consumed. Let's try to come up with an intuitive solution for this. Let's try to understand how many cars will be needed given the number of people and the maximum capacity of a car. We have 4 people and the number of seats is 2. Hence we will be needing 4 divided by 2 cars. Let's take the example where the number of people is 5. 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. There cannot be 2 and a half cars, hence we will be needing 3 cars. We could use the seal function to get the number of cars. Even though this graph is undirected, all the edges will actually be pointing towards zero. At city 3, there are no incoming edges, hence only one person will gather over there. Similarly, at city 4, only one person will gather over there. Both of them will move towards city 2 and over there, person 2, 3 and 4 will gather, hence three people. All these three people will move towards city 1 and over there 4 people will gather and all these 4 people will move towards city 0. To implement our previous approach we need to determine how many people will aggregate in a particular city. Let's take city 1 as an example. There is already one person in city 1 and we'll have to add it by the number of people arriving from this group. This will be the number of nodes in that group. This can be calculated recursively using depth first search. Hence we will call depth first search on node 2. At node 2, people are coming from city 3 and city 4. Hence we will call depth first search on city 3 and city 4. Both of them are leaf nodes, hence only one person will aggregate over there. So DFS of 2 will return 3 and DFS of 1 will return 4. We'll have to call DFS on all the nodes with which 0 is connected. If our graph looks something like this, then the number of people traveling to city 0 from this part would be completely independent from the number of people traveling from this part. And similarly, these two parts will also be independent. Hence, we'll have to calculate individually for each part. Let's calculate the number of cars that we'll need. From city 4, only one person will be traveling to city 2, hence only one car will be needed. Similarly, for city 3, only one car will be needed. From city 2, three people will be traveling to city 1, hence two cars will be needed. And from city 1, four people will be traveling to city 0, hence two cars will be needed. So we will need 6 liters of fuel. Even though five people will be at city 0, they don't have to travel anywhere. Hence, they will not consume any fuel. The time complexity would be, we have to go through all the nodes only once 
hence it would be o of n and the space complexity would be we'll have to create an adjacency matrix to store our graph this would take o of n space since we are also calling dfs recursively it would take o of n memory on stack let's implement our solution for storing our graph we'll create an adjacency matrix we'll create a hash map where the key would be the nodes and corresponding to that we'll be storing a list of the connected nodes hence we'll go through all the nodes and since every node is bidirectional we'll be storing it twice for each endpoint this would mean there's a path from a to b and also from b to a let's initialize our answer to be 0 in a global variable we are storing this in an array because it would be accessible from inside the dfs function let's define our recursive dfs function which would return the number of people aggregating in that city the input parameters would be the city and the previous city from which it has arrived each city by default has one person we'll have to count the number of people arriving in this city hence we will go through all the connected cities in a for loop we'll have to skip the previous city to avoid a cycle we could have also written this using a visited hash set but it's given in our problem that there are no cycles hence we could use the previous node to avoid any extra data structure we'll call dfs on each node and our current node will become the previous node this will be the number of people arriving from the ith node and we'll add it to our people and together all these people will travel to the next node consuming c of people by seats liters if we are already at node 0 then people do not have to travel hence consuming zero fuel at the end of our dfs function we could return the number of people we'll call dfs on the 0th node with the previous as none at the end we'll return our answer let's submit our solution as you can see our solution is accepted if you have any doubts or concerns regarding this solution please mention in the comments If you thought this video was helpful please leave a like and subscribe to the channel this would help this channel a lot thanks for watching